The P365 is a concealed carry pistol. But Phil, you guys have done some things with this one to make it even better for concealed carry. We have. We actually uh, found a way to make the gun truly anti-snag by taking the front sight off and submerging a very interesting rear sight. Okay, so no sights sticking up on the gun. Not snagging is important, not catching on your clothes, your cover garment. That's correct. If you pocket carry this with a, a good pocket holster, that's still a very real possibility of snagging on your pocket on the way out. Or if you're carrying under a shirt to snag on your shirt, it's just safer to not have sights, as weird as that sounds. But you do have a sighting system. Explain that. We do. This was a sight that I saw uh, a couple years ago at a show, and I thought it was incredibly innovative. And uh, I decided to change the thing, the way this was mounted and embedded into the slide so it's flush fit into the slide. Yeah, you sink it into the gun and now to slide, to shoot it, you're looking into the back of the gun basically. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at the channel here, um, there's actually a channel cut into the back of the slide and the sight allows light to come in through the rear aperture and it shoots out through the back. So when you aim the gun, you're actually just looking directly over the top of the gun and you've got your green dot a, inside of a green circle. And when that's lined up, you put it on the target just like you would a red dot, yeah. and that's what you're gonna hit. Now, not having a front sight allowed you to add another feature. It did. One of the things we added on this gun to reduce the muzzle flip, because let's face it, it's a 17 and a half, 18 ounce gun, it's gonna, it's gonna recoil a little bit, is we added a ported barrel. And that reduces our muzzle flip by sure. up to 30%. The hotter the ammo, the more it works. Okay. And you don't have to worry about fouling up your front sight after about 20 rounds because there is none. So it right. actually lends itself very well to the pistol. And uh, if you notice on the, the other side here, these controls are also flattened out. These are completely flush controls. So not only is there no sight front or rear to snag on, there's no side controls to snag on. So to release the slide, you simply have to slingshot it. So, so this one is the P365 SAS. That's correct. The SIG Anti-Snag is what we call our SAS line. And this is our first new SAS gun we've introduced to the market in a few years. And I think the fact that it's completely flush on all sides definitely makes it a winner. Well, with a different siding system, people are going to say, can I be fast? Can I be accurate? Let's find out. Phil, I, yeah, we got at least one word in. It happens. <laughs> I Damn, you get very I mean, far. All right, this doesn't come. This doesn't come naturally. That ain't easy. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, Phil, for concealed carry, drawing from concealment, snag free is a big deal. It is. Um, a lot of people carry with their shirt tail out, or they carry in any other concealed method, and sights are a, are a big snag point. Yeah. And the great thing about this gun, as we mentioned, is there are no sights. The whole top of the gun is smooth. There's no front sight, no rear sight per se, so no matter what you do with your clothing, it can't snag on your shirt. It just comes out. It comes out no matter what. Pocket carry with a, a, a good pocket holster, no matter what, it's going to come out of the holster and come out and not snag on anything. It's awesome. Well, and, and like we said, now you've got a ported barrel, which we know a ported barrel is gonna help with control and recoil, but I thought, let's show them how this works, what it looks like. Definitely, definitely, here we go. So let's try, so let's try the draw and see if it actually snags on anything. Nope, we're good. So now, we're gonna shoot, and with the hotter ammo, it's actually more effective. And the sights still work, right? They do work. <laughs> I mean, we're 15 yards right now. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, that's, that's probably what you could say is uh, further than your average engagement distance. People are watching this going, I don't know, this is like the sights, it doesn't have sights, but it has sights, this is weird to me. Right. But for the traditional gunny, can you really be accurate with this sighting system? You can, I am the traditional gunny. I've been shooting for a long time and I've been used to the front sight rear notch, uh, but it's, it's still a matter of what you get used to. And uh, shooting a red dot or an, a, a dot optic it's pretty intuitive. It makes the, the hard shots easier. Yeah. And this is no different than that. It's a small, compact, flush sight, and it actually makes hard shots pretty easy. But we've also got three plates sitting out there yeah, at 15 yards. They're what, 10 inch plates? That one, I actually have to reload. And you gotta hold the, t t hold the sight a little bit better, but with three plates, I'll see how fast I can engage them here. So it's pretty quick. I mean, if you take the time to put your sights on the target and do it correctly, or the sight, I guess you could say, yeah. you're, you're gonna get hits on it. It's just a matter of how long you're willing to wait. Well, and you know, people are figuring out red dot sights are fast on guns, and that's an adjustment. 
once you get out there and practice with it, you get used to it. Same thing with this sighting system. That is absolutely correct. It's not, it, it, and it's it's not just an impression when you first get it and look at the sight and go, wow, that's neat. But when you get it out here on the range and shoot it, mm -hmm. it is an epiphany moment. It's one of the coolest things I've ever shot. The SIG P365 SAS.